can register your group series already with the on-prem Sky for Business environment. What I will walk you through in this video is something unique. You will be able to register your group series to a Sky for Business online environment. And in this video, I will walk you through in a one, two, three step process. So as you can see here, you can see the group series, there's nothing on premise, no Sky for Business on premise. This is really a direct registration to Microsoft Office 365 environment. So what I want to show you is really this one to three easy step process. First of all, we'll get through the admin portal where I will create an, a Skype for Business uh, user, uh, which we will use on the group series in step two. I will show you the exact process on the group series through the uh, web management. And in step three, we will register also to the exchange online environment so you got in a one to three setup all the steps done to register your group series so what are the requirements so when you're gonna start working with microsoft office 365 we have some requirements there so the first requirement is you need to have group series 310 500 or 700 you gotta have a Microsoft license on there. So this will enable the registration. This will enable the Microsoft codec to be used on the group series. And also make sure you're on 6.0 or above. And at the moment we are on a 6.0.1. So make sure you're just on the latest and you should be fine. Another requirement is make sure you have the RP Touch. So the RP Touch is the latest generation touch panel from Polycom. As soon as you register Microsoft, Microsoft uh, Office 365 environment, the Sky for Business Online, it will ask you to pair the RP Touch. So make sure you got this RP Touch ready to uh, pair this with your group series, because this will be your front end talking to the Microsoft environment. And it's really easy to use. So it's got all the icons, the logos, the coloring, styling, everything is identical to uh, a user who's already familiar with the Microsoft environment. Also, when you schedule meetings, uh, so like I said, we're gonna integrate this also with Exchange Online. So if a user schedules a meeting and let the group series join, he will be able to walk into the room and just press a simple join button. So it's very, very straightforward. There are some additional features on the touch panel when you're in a meeting. So you're able to set different layouts. You can set the mute. You're able to mute participants if you want when you're in a meeting. It's all very, very easy. Some additional things you could do. So when you have group series, it opens up you to a lot of possibilities for bigger conference rooms. Because the group series has options like four times optical zoom, 12 times optical zoom. These cameras are very powerful. The digital inside got 4K sensors. So you're really opening up with high quality in your, in your bigger meeting rooms. But also don't forget, uh, there's also some additional uh, options like for example, the uh, speaker tracking or group tracking uh, functionality. And this could be very powerful. If you open it up to bigger rooms, the ease of use is also very, very important. <laughs> you just, uh, it should be just a single click, join meeting, and all will be done automatically. And with those automatic speaker and group tracking uh, products, you can really, really enhance that experience. Uh, and that is also my experience in the, in the field. But also, if you're, for example, ceiling mics, you're also able to use these. So, for example, got ceiling mics right here. So this opens this also up. So if the table mic is not sufficient, you can also use a couple of ceiling mics to make the experience even better. Also important uh, is the licensing. So on the Microsoft side, make sure you have a Skype for Business license. This needs to be, of course, a video enabled license for Skype for Business. So at minimum E3, E5, but also don't forget if you got Cloud PBX or PSTN calling, 
it's no problem there's the phone option here on the touch panel if you press that you can easily call to a user who's behind his mobile phone or you can let losers join in the meeting who are behind mobile phones so there's a lot of additional functionality inside uh, built inside the touch panel also when you're registered to office 365 so be aware and if you got all those functionalities already there you can absolutely use them uh, on the uh, on the touch panel which comes with the group series now the first piece which i want to walk you through is the office 365 admin portal and i will show you how to create a group series account for uh, the use on the group series that one we're gonna log in to the office 365 admin portal so from there we're going to create account for the uh, group series and this by the way will automatically create also an exchange account so here we go to admin and then from the admin side we should be able to find our user base okay so here we see the options add a user so we go to let me go to user first so you see here the users which are by default in this office 365 uh, demo portal okay so we'll do add user all right so now we can here set a uh, first name so let me uh, call it for example uh, the group oh three six five and the display name so this will be the name that is good to know this will be the name which will be displayed as a buddy list so you might want to use a name of the room where you're going to use the group series so here we'll fill in a username so let me do group 365 and my location is the Netherlands so now what I will do and this is a demo uh, this is a demo account but just to show you how easy it is I hook up here an uh, office 365 e5 like I said you will be able to use also an uh, e3 if you want or yeah as long as the account has uh, Skype for business in there using uh, video you uh, you should be fine okay so what we do is the password this is an important piece so let me create a password so here we create a password for this account and what is uh, also important is make sure that there is no password change so you untick this make sure that you use because on the group series uh, you won't change that account there so create a fixed password and you should be uh, should be fine okay so what we'll set we can say add adding the user all right so all set you don't have to send the email so what i usually do is just copy this so i can use that later on say close and this was uh, step one hi yo welcome to step two so in step one we created a user account which created uh, all the accounts needed in office 365 so that means sky for business exchange and all other features you use in office 365 but for the group series we're going to use the office 365 sky for business online account and use that in the group series so for that we go to the web management of the group series which is right here so i'm connected now here using my web browser to the group series so the first thing you need to check is the version so if you are on 6.0, 6.01 uh, this is the latest when uh, doing this video you uh, you should be okay the other thing that is important is when you look under your license so settings general options so make sure you got the sky for business license available tick in the box the other thing you need is under security check 
if you're under global security under encryption that it is on when available so that means it's able to use the encryption uh, which give sky for business is uh, is using so that is an important one and what you will notice is on a general settings and then the home screen settings there's the option for the skype mode which you see right here so now you are able to untick it uh, or to tick it but what you will see is after we're going to register this to office 365 you will notice that this will be grayed out and it will be ticked so that means it's really required uh, to get the uh, touch panel connected to use the uh, sky for business uh, uh, user experience okay so to register this group series to office 365 what you need to do and it's really really straightforward so you go to the SIP settings you tick enable SIP the SIP configuration can be auto so it will do an automatic lookup using the DNS to find the uh, sky for business online environment we use the sign in address so this is the one I copied earlier when I was uh, uh, creating the account so we'll copy and paste that so for the user account we do exactly the same thing we type in the password that you created so put in the password okay we can leave proxy empty register type is Microsoft make sure we got all that done and then we click on save so what will happen is the group series will find now its route to the office 365 environment and my experience is when changing accounts in a group series or enabling accounts it will be good to to give it a quick reboot to make sure we get the registration done so i will do the same thing here go to restart restart system and i will do a quick restart to make sure it's registered correctly as you got your group series rebooted you go back to network IP network SIP settings and then under registration status here you see here it's now registered so this account this sign in address you can now add that as a buddy into your Skype for business client which I will show you later on the other thing which I wanted to show you if you now go back into the home screen settings Skype mode as I said earlier the Skype mode is now required so you really need to use the RP touch the remote control is disabled uh, which comes by default with the group series so as I said make sure you got your RP touch ready to pair with the group series to get the Skype for business user interface now we arrived at step three and this is uh, where I will show you how to configure the exchange online account in the group series so we go back to web management and here we dive now under the server settings and here you find the option calendar service and here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna add the email which is exactly the same don't forget to leave the domain empty so this is very important don't fill out the domain this is similar to uh, other polycom products which you registered to office 365 you fill in the password so here we fill in the password the account let's do the auto discover that means it will fill and get all the settings throughout the dns and things let's see if the account is correctly set up after we've done this we should get and succeed so the discovery works so the network find is way outside dns is correctly set up etc all right we click on save and what should happen is after a couple of seconds it should set as you see here registered so the group series is now registered also to exchange online and we can uh, start planning some uh, some meetings 
So the final piece to uh, finalize uh, this configuration, so after Sky for Business, after Exchange, there's one piece and that is enabling the address book search function. So by default, if you're gonna go, for example, here in the web management, you can also search for contacts. So let me, for example, search for Skype. And it says very quickly, no matches found. That means there is no interaction at the moment with an address book function. And that means also on the RP touch, you won't have any results. So as a thing, you need to enable the address book function. So as a thing, you go to admin settings, you go to servers, you go to directory servers, and here you see this could be turned off. So you need to enable this, set this to Microsoft, make sure you add here the domain. This is the only place where you put the domain, uh, the Office 365 tenant domain. You click on save. Now it's just a matter of a couple of seconds, minutes, depending on network where this will go to registration status register. So after, I think, 20 to 30 seconds, you see now it's got status registered. Now, when we go back to place a call, and we go here to test search results, we type in here again Skype, and what you will see, it will actually give me results now. So now you can search in the address book, Sky for Business address book and get the results as you can see here. So this means this will also be functional on the RP Touch. So this is a quick tip uh, to just try the search in the Sky for Business online. And this finalizes this configuration. So after you've done all the configurations and connected all the equipment, there's always a location where you can double check if the whole configuration has been completed successfully and if the hardware is successfully connected and it is right here. So under system status, you will find here all the green bulbs and as long as everything is green, you should be fine. So the SIP register here, for example, is registration to the Microsoft environment, calendar server, same thing to the online calendaring service. Of Office 365. So you see everything is green, so that means the configuration has been completed. The final thing I wanted to show you so, when you got everything set up, your Sky for Business online account, you got your Exchange online account, and everything is registered, the final thing you can do is you can just get your Sky for Business account on your PC, and you go here to Buddies, you add that buddy and what you will see is that it's able to find it. You can add it as a favorite, which I will do right now. And it's now here in my buddy list. And you can see the presence, which is green. And if I'll dial to it, you will get the presence is red. And what is also good to know is with the new version, the 601, you can also share content. So if you, for example, now do an IM, to this machine and you would do a um, share desktop or share program, you're able to do that directly. So without even setting up a conference call. So this is just a quick tip. And the other tip that might be, uh, might be interesting is if you wanna add a picture right here to this buddy, you can add this also. And this is all through the uh, Office 365 admin portal. So you can add some pictures maybe of the room or uh, of a specific person or anything like that. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, video and hopefully it, uh, it is helpful to get your environment quickly up and running.